Hello, gorgeous. I'm Denise Duffield Thomas. I'm a money mindset mentor, best selling author, and founder of the Money Bootcamp. Now, you might already know me or whatever, but I wanted to tell you how much I love affirmations. And I think sometimes that affirmations are just as powerful as reading a whole book or doing a whole course. Affirmations are a huge part about how I've manifested my first class life and business. And so I always recommend them as a great starting point if you're looking to drastically upgrade your life. I have used affirmations and so many different ones over the years, depending on what I was trying to manifest, but I always get asked about what are the best affirmations are for specific situations like manifesting money. So I wanna share three of the ones that I'm loving at the moment to help shift you from feeling kind of negative and weird to feeling amazing and deserving of money really quickly. So before we start, like why and what are affirmations? This is just a reminder. So affirmations are positive brain training statements that help you shift focus from the negative, where most of us spend a lot of our mental time, to a more positive way of thinking. And they're great pattern interrupters as well that help you change behavior. So what do I mean about pattern interrupter? Well, it's like this, right? You might be going about your day when you notice that you're dwelling on something like, you know, oh, I'll never make it, or I'm stressed about money, or like I can't make money in my business because I don't feel qualified, or I don't have enough experience, or I need to lose weight, or whatever it is. So you get into this negative spiral pattern. You might not even be aware that that's going on, but if you don't interrupt that negative thought pattern, you are going to create a downward spiral that manifests more frustration, more lack, and more negativity. And when you're feeling crappy about yourself, you then often miss opportunities. You talk yourself out of taking action and you get stuck in procrastination. Negative self-talk, negative like thinking is one of the biggest sabotaging patterns I see in people who are not living their ideal life. And the opposite way using positive affirmations is one of the quickest and cheapest, let's face it, free ways to turn things around. So I love my signature affirmation, which is, it's my time and I'm ready for the next step. It's my time and I'm ready for the next step because it immediately gives your brain something positive to focus on instead of those negative patterns. Now this particular affirmation, it's my time, I'm ready for the next step. It reinforces the message that you are ready, that it's only the next step that needs to happen so it's less daunting. And then it gets you out of that kind of jealousy feeling that everyone else is getting the opportunities and it reminds you that good things can happen to you as well. When you train your brain to look for the positive, you automatically start to feel better and act in slightly different ways. You might feel just a teeny bit more motivated to take a teeny baby step action and then it has a knock-on effect to creating more positive outcomes. Now, if you use affirmations, whenever you notice the negative thoughts, you will successfully interrupt the downward spiral before it causes more drama. Do it enough and you train your brain to manifest awesome things for you. Feels like magic, but it's brain training. So what are some good affirmations to use to grow your business and abundance? So here's one that I'm loving right now. My face is my fortune. And I say this all the time, not so much to other people, but I say it to myself. And this is particularly for you if you are hiding out and being afraid to be visible. Because if you want your customers to connect with you, sometimes you need to be seen. And for some businesses, people want to connect with an actual person. And so this is a good one to use if you feel like you're not perfect yet or you don't wanna be on camera. You want to be unapologetically you. Yes, right now, even at your current weight, even though you think you're not perfect, even though maybe you don't have makeup on or you don't want to be on camera, even if you worry that you're not good enough. Now, I used to think I had to completely change everything about myself to be successful. And you know what? That is not the case because your success and abundance will skyrocket when you get okay with being exactly who you are. So that's what I use for me. My face is my fortune. My face is my fortune. That could be your affirmation if you know that you want to become more visible. Then it will give you the courage to get new headshots done, new photos. 
It will help you to maybe use your face on your branding, show up on social media, get on camera and tell people about what you do. It will give you the permission to show up as a real life model of what you do. And this is going to help you charge well for what you do because you will show up as you. My face is my fortune. My face is my fortune. And this has really helped me to show a mix of photos too, like the glammed up ones and the real life ones. You will be surprised what this affirmation does for you. So if you're feeling blocked about putting a picture of yourself on your about page or on your social media profiles, this affirmation is really going to help you to show up and be visible. So you can say it again, my face is my fortune, my face is my fortune. This one has helped me get on camera. Do whatever feels comfortable for you, but if you know you want to show up and be more visible in your business, then repeating that affirmation, my face is my fortune, will really help when you're not feeling good enough or when you want to hide away from the world. The connection to the real you is something that will really grow your community and your income. So that's one I'm loving at the moment. Okay, number two, and you might've heard me say this a million times before, I serve, I deserve. When I started using this affirmation, it completely changed the way I felt about my impact on the world and my ability to receive abundance in return. So I used to feel so bad that I couldn't help everyone and I would feel so guilty. And it was just, it never felt enough. And have you ever laid awake at night worrying and stressing about not being able to help people? Because a lot of the people in my community, we go into business to help people. And it feels horrible when you get people asking you for advice or even blaming you for not being able to help them. But you cannot help everybody. The truth is that when you have a business, you could work 24-7 and still not feel like you're doing enough. And when you have your own business, it's hard to have clock off time, right? So how do you deal with those feelings of guilt? Think of all the ways that you serve people. It could be the free articles that you put on your blog, your weekly podcast, or the way that you help out other people in business forums. You're probably serving people all the time. Well, guess what? You are allowed to receive abundance in return for all of that good you're putting out into the world. It's okay to say no to requests for free advice. It's okay to steer customers towards your paid offerings. You serve and you deserve as well. Now, this affirmation will remind you of all the ways that you help people, but it will also help you to remember that you don't have to serve everyone or be everything to everyone. You do serve already. Using this affirmation is also your reminder that it's okay to receive good things for what you do. You're entitled to receive abundance in your life from serving people, including money. Okay, here is another life-changing affirmation. This is what I use. This is what a wealthy woman looks like. Now, this one is going to change your life. Now, you don't have to say woman because not everyone identifies as a woman, but that's how I identify. So that's why I use it. This is what a wealthy woman looks like. But you can use whatever you like. Now, when you think about the stereotypical like wealthy person, what do you think they look like, sound like, dress like? Do they look like you or do they look like someone on TV that you've never met before? Now, I didn't think that I was allowed to be wealthy because, I don't know, I don't like wearing shoes and (laughs) I dress casually and I love eating at Pizza Hut. And I was like, well, surely a rich woman has to be fancy all the time. Like a rich woman wouldn't eat at Pizza Hut, right? So to change the view about yourself, you can do this in the mirror and say this affirmation to yourself. You can point at your face, point at your body and say, well, this is what wealth looks like. And it might trigger you and challenge your beliefs about your ability to be wealthy. And this is great because it will bring up your hidden excuses right to the surface. And after you say it, like, this is what a wealthy woman looks like. This is what a wealthy person looks like. You can see what comes up and it might be like, oh, no, no, not you. You might be looking at your beautiful, no, not you. You're not allowed to be wealthy. Let those reasons bubble up and get specific. Why are you not allowed to be wealthy? 
And this is hugely valuable information about your money blocks and the stories that you tell yourself that will keep you small. So using this affirmation means that you might need to clear some of those blocks that are getting in your way right now. And those blocks that you discover as you look in the mirror and do that. But if you keep on using this affirmation, you will come up with more and more, but you'll start to acclimatize yourself to you being wealthy. And then when those things come up, you can interrupt the pattern and remind yourself that you can be wealthy too. And you'll start to believe it the more that you do it. All right, so I love those three affirmations. I'm thrilled to share them with you. And you know what? You don't have to use all of them, but you could just write them on a post-it note and see. But you will start to see results from it in a very short period of time. Remember what you focus on is what you get. So start training your brain to focus on the positive so it can really boost your manifesting effort. Now, you might realize that you need to work on your money mindset, and I have a ton of resources to help you. I have helped thousands of entrepreneurs break through their money blocks in my books, like my book, Chillpreneur, and my course, Money Bootcamp. So my resource for you today is totally free. It's a money blocks workshop that will help you clear your money blocks fast so they don't sabotage your success and your income. So I want you to watch it today. It's at denisedt.com slash blocks. Easy as that. All right, have fun with those affirmations. I would love to hear your favorites as well. But most of all, reach out and let me know how these affirmations are changing your life. All right, gorgeous. It's your time and you're ready for the next step. 